So the Chidima case was a knife that was involved. This one now they say axe. The next time it will be bulldozer. <laughs> I'm not supposed to laugh in a video like that. The next one we hear is bulldozer. Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Summer. So in today's video, I want to talk about how it seems to be that um, Chidima Ataga kind of story is on the rise okay um it seems to be on the rise and there is a reason why i really wanted to make a video and address this um let me actually read it to you guys the way it is in the papers and i'm re i'm reading this one from the daily post website six year old lady allegedly butchers sugar daddy cut away car 2.9 million in uyo for anyone that does not know uyo is in is the capital of one of the states in nigeria loretta anno has allegedly killed her lover an international businessman, Chikoka and Mika Henry, and carted away his former Tik Mercedes Benz car and a sum of 2.9 million naira in Uyo, the capital of uh, Akwa Ibom State. The state police public relations officer and SP Odiko McDon, in a statement forwarded to Daily Post on Thursday evening, confirmed the incident. According to the police uh, spokesman, the suspect has been arrested. He also revealed that the items stolen from the victim have been recovered. He noted that the state police command was able to arrest the alleged murderer on Wednesday following a complaint by one of the victim's friends, colleagues Okpara. The statement reads, on 4th of August 2021, at about 9.10 a.m., uh, following a complaint from one colleague, Okpara M. of Afaha Road, Uyo, that he contacted his brother, one uh, Chikoka, Emeka Harry M., 36 years of age, via phone, but couldn't get response. He decided to visit the said Chikoka in his apartment, located at number 2, Osongama Estate, Uyo. On arrival, he found him laying in his pool of blood, dead. He further informed the police that his black formatic Mercedes Benz, Benz car with registration number blah 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 was removed from the car park. The report necessitated the commissioner of police, Andrew Amiegeme, to order for a prompt investigation. Operatives of the division in Ewet Housing swiftly took action removed the corpse of the disease which preliminary examination showed an axe cut on his head and deposited at the university of uyo teaching hospital uuth uh, for autopsy operatives painstakingly trailed and arrested the principal suspect one loretta uh, anno f who was last seen entering the apartment of the deceased on the 3rd of august 2021 an instant search of the victim led to the recovery of the sum of two million nine hundred and fifty three thousand two hundred and fifty naira which she confessed to have stolen from the victim the suspect at the point of arrest was making arrangements to change the ownership of the formatic car of the disease to her personal car the commissioner of police who miffed at the action of the suspect has ordered a, a transfer of the case to the state criminal investigation department for a discreet investigation while warning members of the public to be vigilant and be careful of the company they keep why am i sharing this i'm sharing this because like i always say when we have a platform it's good to use it to let people know what's going on out there so people may learn so people may never learn because we're still talking about chidima and ataga and we're still here but i don't know why they're saying sugar daddy you see that's the thing again about the news i do not understand they say sugar daddy but she she was at his apartment so is he married because if he's married how come he allowed her into his apartment so i don't know no part of that thing actually said he's a married man with children or whatever so i won't go there but part of me says so even after chidima and ataga so even like this sugar daddy and getting into all of those things but that's not the main part i want to address the main part i want to address you know when we spoke or when i spoke uh, you know when there was this opera about the Chidima and Ataga story. There was something that I personally found nauseating. Is the fact that we're talking about a, a, such a big case. Such a big incident. And so people are like, oh, it's so much. You know, I find yellow. Uh, uh, what is it called? That's the suspect. So people were saying, I don't want to go into that story. If you don't know the story, I'll link it in the description box. Those of you that have not heard about that Ataga story can go, you know. And people were like, oh, the girl fine, no. Ah, 
oh so people are like ah she's only a young girl at the end of the day we still have to say that she's just a suspect but when you look at this it's like a ring road it always the whole story kept on leading back to her i've made a lot of you i think i've made about three or four videos about that explaining how so much seems to be leading back to her as the one that did it right and i want to address the area of people that do not understand why cases should be taken seriously it's everybody like hey no matter what the man will not die don't die now eh? it's like no matter what the man that is already gone is gone you know jailing her or doing anything to her will not bring you know will not bring him back hey whatever has happened has already happened you know this the reason why cases like that should be taken seriously is not necessarily for the benefit of the person that lost his life or just for the punishment for the accused or the whoever is found guilty of doing it it's also a big part of it has to do with a lesson for others when people see consequences of such an action it would make some people sit back and say okay i don't like the consequences of what happened but that other suspect chidima you know was being people have talked about it being treated like almost like a celebrity especially when people see in the interview she was looking fresher every single day and people are like saying okay how can she be looking so fresh after such a case although the committee whatever police or whatever the police were saying you know the first video is actually not the first video the second but i said that doesn't make sense because the second video we saw they were trying to claim there was a place that they were trying to say that that second video was actually the first one right that the first one we saw is the second one why i do not believe that is if you look at the first one we saw she had this braid on her hair so are they not trying to tell us that that first video we saw is the second video meaning that because people were talking about how fresh she looked in the second video we saw and they were not trying to say that the second video no is actually the first one you okay but why i do not believe that is that the the first one we saw she had this braid you know whatever kind of like a, a weave or braid you know at the back of her hair and um at the back of her head so are they now trying to tell us that that one is the second one so meaning that the first one we saw when she didn't have the braid was the first one so does it mean that in the in the cell they give this girl attachment and to, to do her hair you know she got attachment in the in the cell and not only that one if you look very well you will see they were like a, like a gel or like on the it looked like she had a bit of gel on her hair so does it mean that while she was in custody they also gave her gel to gel her hair so that's why i do not believe when you know what they were saying that no this video is the second one that I, I, it didn't add up you know so now people that say oh she's so oh, my fine girl oh, oh, da, da, da. people forget you be careful about this kind of things because social media or news people learn from it and what i'm talking about consequences if people see real consequences it will deter people from doing it. When a, a lot of young girls watch the video of uh, uh, Chidima, uh, the suspect Chidima, because I'm going to keep on calling her suspect, suspect until, you know, proven guilty. You know, when they see that, what is there to actually make them be afraid? When they see Chidima smiling and talking like she's having conversation with friends, or when they see people posting on social media, like, ah, the girl fine, no, eh, tomato jaws. What is there then to deter other girls from doing it? I don't, I don't know why but i feel like this this story is so similar it's almost like they're borrowing ideas from the story that we already heard you know exactly the stories are so the same now I, like I'm, I'm gonna say this i hate unfaithfulness right but i still believe i've said it before and i still stand by that that i do not believe that uh you know ending their lives unfaithful people that they are the real consequence or no the what's the word we can't come here and say unfaithfulness warrants a death sentence that's not true we have to be honest is wrong or whatever but it, it does not warrant a death sentence right so now it has happened again but the chidima case was a knife that was involved this one now they say axe the next time it will be bulldozer <laughs> i'm not supposed to laugh in a video like that the next one we hear is bulldozer what will we hear like do you know what to say on one hand I, I i blame people that they still decide to be unfaithful even though they know all these stories it doesn't deter them from getting into stuff like but like I, I'm, I'm trying to be careful there's no part of this story that revealed that this man was a married man so i don't want to say he's unfaithful because i, I like the news didn't say that so i don't want to really go into that so but i want to talk about the idea of taking somebody's life because you want to collect what belongs to him or her and the idea of glamorizing that's actually the word i want to use glamorizing cases like this 
glamorizing cases like this not too long ago i think there was another news as well but this one was the other way around it was a guy that they said he killed his sugar mommy or something like that and i'm thinking to myself what is going on what is going on you may watch a tiger story and say oh well nice i be it's none of my business it could end up happening to your loved one your brother your sister god forbid but somebody that you know and this is why the police should not make it look like such a glamorous you know case right because then you're making it enticing to others anyways i saw that news a few days ago and i said let me come here and make a video and share it you never know maybe somebody can learn from it or whatever and like i said there are so many angles to address but i really wanted to address the area of oh you know glamorizing a case like that oh chidima is so cute she's so whatever yeah she's so cute i made a video where i said even what do you mean is it about looks the the attacker himself that did lost his life the guy was good looking too okay chidima is so cute look at this one now she may not be that very cute uh you know uh, she's not that young but at the end of the day i feel like people i don't know why but I, I i see this as a copycat case that's what i see like sometimes when you things are in the news some people may see it and be like oh my goodness well unfortunately some people may see it and get inspired you know like oh that's actually a possibility you know i can actually try this you know what to say so be careful and that is why like i said consequences are important not glamorizing cases like that and um, as always feel free to leave your opinions in the comment section below and with that i'm gonna say thank you for watching until the next time guys come on bye